Okay, students. So, uh, so now we'll see uh, next map. So this has again a different feature. So in this we have a next feature called as fault. So here it is written as f, and here it is written as f. This indicates they are faulted. There is a fault feature in this. Fault is nothing but the displacement along the block without without their the the but the blocks are not separated uh, uh, from each other. Okay, so there is a just displacement. This concept we already studied. Okay, so now in this uh, same series will be there. So you can see here A B C D. Here also A B C D same series will be there, but they are repeated again. They are repeated again, and they have same direction. They may be have same uh, uh, maybe. I am talking about maybe. They may have same direction. They may be have same uh, the uh, the dip amount as well. All these uh, matters. Okay. So in this map again, uh, we'll directly take out the, the the points which are need to be marked. Where bedding uh, uh, um, bedding plane and control lines are meeting. These all points will be marking it here. Okay. And after once you mark these points, after you mark these points, we'll be shifting to the immediate next part that is joining of x and y lines. We'll be join. Uh, we'll be talking about joining of x and y line. So here we have the x and y line. Here we have. Uh, x y x and y line can be given anywhere. It can start from here and it can end here. It can start here. It can end here. But you may get the almost similar results. Okay. So I first I joined the x and y line. I joined the x y x and y line. And the immediate next task, what I'll do is I will take down the points out of it. I'll take the take down the points out of it. Okay. So I'll use a pen for better understanding. Okay. So I kept. The map here. Then I'll mark first my x point. I'll mark first my x point. Then I'll say a bigger bedding plane that is B, and this side it is C. Then I have the contour uh, value of 500. Then I have a bedding plane that is C and B. Then I have a bedding plane B and A. Then here I have a fault line. Here I have a Fault line. That also I will marking it here. Okay. Then again here I get a bedding plane that is 400. Then a contour line again. Uh, sorry, bedding plane. This is a contour line. B and C. Then I have a bedding plane C and B. Then again here I have a bedding plane that is B and A. And here I have my Y point as well. The contour value at this point is. 300. Same way, at this location, if you observe, here it is a contour line, and the value of that is 600. Okay, so I I noted down all these values. Once I note down these values, I'll be drawing a profile out of it. I'll be drawing a profile out of it. So for convenience, I have already drawn the profile and kept the profile ready. This is my profile which has been ready for plotting. Okay, so once I Uh, draw the profile. The next task which will be performing is will be transferring down the bedding planes on the top. Will be transferring the bedding planes on the top. So I'll be just marking this bedding plane and then this bedding plane, then again this bedding plane. Okay. Then here this is the fault line. What I'll do is I'll just draw a. Horizontal line here. I'll just draw a horizontal line here. I'll just extend in a dotted form, and I'll write down here as F. I'll note down here as F. Okay. Same way. Then I'll just transfer this bedding plane. I'll transfer these bedding planes. Okay. So I transferred all these bedding planes, and I mark the fault line. Now, after this, we should understand. In which direction the beds are dipping? Okay. In which direction and with what amount? Okay. For that, what we'll be doing is, as usual, we'll be drawing the strike lines. So I'll draw my first strike line at this point. Okay. So here I'll try to coincide with all the points, and I'll say this is my first strike line. This is my first strike line. Same way, I'll just continue further. I get one more point over here. 
parallelly we should continue drawing the straight lines okay so parallel to this i'll be drawing another straight line okay same way i'll just this line with the same line i'll just go down and the bottom part also here also okay this is my first strike line here then i have another strike line here and then i have another strike line at this position so all the strike lines i have completed okay all the strike lines i have drawn so as you know already okay that there is a formula to we will be finding out two points one is dip direction and dip amount dip direction as well as dip amount will be calculated okay so dip direction let us find it out first let's start working on this bed okay i'll consider this bed you consider this bed okay i'll start moving here this is my first point this is my first point okay so here the contour value is 700 i'll note down the 700 here further i will go i'll got i got another value as 600 higher to lower will be the dip direction higher to lower will be the dip direction so again i got dip direction towards x dip direction towards x we can try with other maps also and and another on the this side as well okay so i started moving on this bed here i got a first value this value as 500 then again i'll move further i got another bed whose value is 400 so 5 to 400 will be the dip direction so both the sides have the same direction in the same same direction that is towards x then then the next immediate part what which uh, will be calculating is nothing but our dip amount dip amount that is the strike interval contour interval divided by strike interval into scale contour interval divided by strike interval into scale contour interval is how much here 700 800 means this 100 the interval is nothing but the 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 difference between two successive contour lines the difference between two successive contour lines okay that we have marked then strike interval will be measuring out with the help of scale will be measuring the strike interval how much is the strike interval we started from here this point first contour line till the last contour line it is 14.5 i'll write down here 14.5 divided by how many intervals are there one Two, three, four, five. So five intervals are there. So five intervals are there. So this comes around two point eight or nine. You may get it. Two point eight or nine. You may get it. Two point nine. You may get it. Okay. Two point nine. We'll get the answer. Okay, so I'll write down here as two point nine into one divided by hundred. That is nothing but our scale. So hundred hundred got cancelled. We got one is to two point nine. I'll write down one is to two point nine. So one is to two point nine will be the the dip amount. Will be the dip amount. With this data, we'll plot the mass. With this data, we'll plot the mass. How we'll be doing it is I'll take down this part, okay. And it is due x. This is my x point. This is my y point. I already know the scale also. And the scale is one centimeter is equals to hundred meters, okay. So, and due x, what I'll do is I'll draw it because my direction is due x. Deep direction is due x. So I'll just draw one centimeter at the bottom. Okay, and 2.9 centimeter over here. 2.9 centimeter over here. So 2.9. This is my 2.9, and then I'll join this. Then I'll join this. I joined this part. Once I complete this, once I complete this, the next immediate task is I'll start mapping from here. 
start mapping from here that I will go in this direction first I will draw first line and run the first line now ok same way I will draw it here I will draw second one ok then I will draw it here third one ok then I will shift to the next line over here but only the problem is I should not cross my fault line I should not cross my fault line ok that is the first and foremost condition because both the sides the beds may be dipping in the same direction but they are displaced they are displaced from their original location ok that is the reason I should not cross the fault line ok so I will draw another line over here so I completed all the beds let us name them let us name them so this is D this is C this is B and this is A ok same way on this side this is D this is C this is B and this is A so with this what what will be uh, understood that there are A B C D beds on this side also there are A B C D beds on the this side also but but due to this fault this is repeating this uh, repetition of bed is happening now we need to understand by what force now if I say this is these are the beds or in original these are the beds in original they are displaced one has one has remained in the original position and other, other has gone down when they have gone down with how much amount so this distance if I say if it was earlier here it shifted over here then with this what difference it has shifted that is understanding that part is very much important so now we will see by what difference that is called as a down throw that is called as down throw with how much amount it has gone down that also will be measured how will be doing it I need a same contact I need a same contact so here uh, I have um, C to B contact here and C to B contact here so this distance I will then this, this, this part I will just extend it another so that I will get the B and C contact I can trace that B and C contact on the this side also so what I will do I will just extend this line so that it will come on the I extended this line so it has came here B C and B contact C and B contact both the, uh, both the contacts are same this distance this distance whatever I will be measuring is 6 the distance is how much 5.6 5.6 means 500 and I will write down here down through 560 meters so this indicates that earlier it was over here when it is shifted down it has shifted by 500 meters it has shifted by 500 meters that is nothing but down through now also we need to understand which part is on the top and which part it is at the bottom so now to understand that I will write down this this part is on the top while this side of the bed is on the bottom ok so this is called and here only you can write down as 560 meters so it is understood that this bed has transferred by 560 meters and this is our fault line this is our fault line ok so with this we can complete the map again as usual I will be uh, drawing coloring of it I will be doing a coloring of it I will just show you what to be written here ok so that you will understand in a better way so first is for bed and this then I have A, B, C, D and the fault so fault line then I have A then I have B then I have C and then I have D plus. Okay, so this bed will be there. I'll write down here as bed, and then I'll write down here as thickness. I'll write down here as thickness. Okay. Once I write down this, first I'll write down here as fault. And how much is that fault? 560 meters. Because this is younger one. After the formation of bed, this fault has formed, so it will come on the top. Okay then I have D bed then I have C bed then I have B bed and then I have A bed so D cannot be measured I will write down as anger C here I can measure C I can measure it here or I can measure it here as well 
and I got this as 120 meters 220 meters okay then I'll measure B as well B is 150 meters then I'll write down this as 220 okay then after this you have to do coloring as well you have to do the coloring as well okay so as nominal what we'll be doing is whatever color I give on this side if I say this is my D bed then I'll give a color as red or orange okay then same color I should give for the D bed, bed as well I'll be giving same color over here here okay likewise you have to complete the map likewise you have to complete the map so once you complete we you will see the map in this fashion. You see the map in this fashion. Okay. So you complete this map. You can download this map from my uh, web page. Okay. You can download a web page from the web page. Take a printout of it and complete this section. Thank you.